How you doing? I've really taken an interest in surfing around in games. No, not, not that kind of surfing. But surfing around the store looking for good deals in Steam, Xbox Live Marketplace, PSN, I can really find some great games there, but it's always fun to look. However, this game I've seen to run into seems particularly concerning uh, based upon what I've seen to found in it. I mean, let's be honest, all I needed to see was really the trailer. Anyway, this is my new RPG, where I go about the world saving people from evil tanran stealing bitches like this pop ho. Her name's Crystal, lady. and because of fame's waning, she's gone around doing a variety of evil deeds with her sexy ghost minions. Feeds. I'm not sure what sexy ghosts are, to be honest. They're those things there. Anyway, as you can imagine, I had a bit of something to say about that. Uh, Bandy, WTF is going on? Do you want me to smash her face in? Did you enjoy that? Did, did you really enjoy that? Are you now fully educated on what I have found? For starters, I know she said that this game's an RPG, but what else is it? To me, I'm getting a bad stench of Jersey Shore here with the egos and orange glow I'm seeing. Is it really gonna be that kind of game? Also, can I hear some more selling points? We've got loads of trick skills. They're that trick, you need a menu to sort them out. There's even a world map. Look in the bottom right. Oh, I'm dead traditional, me like that. And I also had dolly answers, dolly answers, and more dolly answers. Well, that's good. You can collect weapons, have a world map, and you can ship the hookups. Okay, romantic entanglements aside, how on earth are these selling points at all? You're not going to give me one reason why I should care about you saving the world, Candies? Omegas. To be fair, this video did get me to click on and buy the game. So the only sucker out of this ordeal is me. Yeah, that guy over there. I have so many questions that need to be answered. Uh, how many dalliances are there even? What on earth am I going to be doing? How many brain cells am I even going to lose? So why don't we just jump into it? I don't think I'm going to waste any more time. Let's get right to it. Let the games begin. Ah, Unity. Surely a great sign of the quality to come. It's Unity Show! <laughs> what is this? <laughs> oh man, I really got into something now, haven't I? This menu screen. Have you ever seen something more catastrophically beautiful? I have no idea what's even going on. Seriously, slap this into a frame and display it right in the Louvre, next to Leonardo's Mona Lisa and The Last Supper. Alright, new game, and oh, we're starting in a trailer park. Nothing sketchy there. Controls in this game are your standard WASD and spacebar affair, but the camera, oh the camera. The second you click on the screen, the camera wraps tightly around your mouse and never lets go, not even when the game is paused. This has led to some frustrating times for me, as you can see. Also, how do I get out of this pause screen? This exit button should do the trick and- oh, okay. I'm not even 10 seconds into this game, and we've already blown it up. Score one for me. All right, what will we be doing now? Let's talk to Ostrich Neck here to find out. Ooh, that can't be comfortable. Yo, Candice! Her Brandy is looking for you over at Sandvan. Something about getting her some supplies. Cheers, Marlon. That Brandy is always getting me to do fetch quests for her, but I love her for it, to be honest. You make sure to play with our kid today while I'm sorting out Brandy. Which one is yours again? Candies, whoa, whoa, getting really crazy about finding out the father. You think this is a one-time ordeal? Ha, huh, I wish. This unfortunately is one of the recurring plot devices someone thought up of, and boy, does it get stale pretty fast. A man is blocking your entry into a city? Threaten him with child support. Watch him crumble before your merciless demands. No, anything but child support. Sleep with a stranger just to advance the storyline? 
Why don't you start cracking jokes about how your already noticeable fetus just changed dads? That'll certainly be what a normal person does. Look at size of my stomach. I'm clearly with child. God, I feel like I'm in an episode of Mari. You are not- <laughs> All right, let's compose ourselves. We finally get to talk to our best friend, Brandy. She sends us on a fetch quest, and we finally meet the main villain of the game. She then obliterates us Ow. into next week. Ow. Candice! Candice! You're finally awake! Absolutely beautiful. So let me recap what just happened. A reseeding pop star named Crystal is trying to gain her fame again, and instead of working on her songs and character like any normal person would, she decides that she needs a new look and steals Brandy's tan van and runs off with it. It's up to us, as Candice Bebe, to stop Crystal and rescue the tan van. Why do we have to do it? Because we're a magical bitch with magic who don't need no man. No, I'm totally serious. A strange woman tells us that direct quote and bam, we're off on our journey. Like, what? So blah, 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 go to a port town, paint a boat, throw it in the water, and we're off. Also, what great foreshadowing. The movies are coming to get me! You've got to be kidding me! Why, this hello. is your excuse for a mermaid? You and also, your creature? arm looks like a chicken wing. What is this creature? Okay, one unconvincing conversation about male mermaids versus mermen later, we have to meet Samantha again in a cove. We get there, there's more talk about gaining powers, and... Wow! Is this game just gonna be about sleeping around with people? I'm about done with this whole shtick. I mean, this was already pretty unbearable at the start. But there comes a time when you realize that you have five more hours left of this game, all paired next to the most promiscuous woman ever made. Ugh! Hey, Justin, what's up? To be fair, I think this is a good time to give the game a few compliments. What, you thought this was an atomic bomb? This can't be the planet-killing plague right here! First thing that surprised me is that this is a complete game and I've never gotten lost wandering around aimlessly. This might not be impressive to some, but honestly, I didn't know what I was getting into, so I'm quite impressed. Also, this game has complete voice acting and music, even if the music is this. I want to come into your forest and see a lady garden. Digital sex, 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 sex. That time I had sex with a mermaid, and we never were the same again. It's not easy being sleazy. You've got to, got to stimulate and tease me. It's music to my ears, darling. But enough compliments. Back to the plot. After the mermaid, we're tasked with going to the city to meet Brandy's sister Shanty and her hair van. She instructs us to meet this tech wizard to gain his powers. Put number in phone, digital hex. Oof, what a pickup line. What? Too bad it works. Hop into his virtual reality machine to fight a digital version of Crystal, and then travel the world again to Pink Treeland to get high off of shrooms with a stoner? Florida Woman, the game! But seriously, what on God's green earth went into development for this monstrosity? Was I supposed to be in a certain state of mind for this game? I think I'm just supposed to go fully numb at this point. Now even though this whole scenario is crazy as hell, there are other parts of this game that really infuriate me. The biggest of which is the overworld. I understand why there's an overworld in this game, but why does it have to be so empty? The only reason I see this overworld existing is just to pad the game's length and grind for XP and health. Time spent in the overworld is even longer since certain areas of the map are basic bottlenecks that you always have to pass through, 
but the absolute worst part is when you're trying to get to an area as quick as you can and an enemy spawns right in front of you and boom instant battle i'm just trying to get through the game man please don't do this to me man all right come pose yourself justin next test is to climb a mountain to have our first boss fight with crystal but first we have to hear an exposition of forgive me for all these terrible things right crystal breaking down i don't know Spinning around, all I have to do in this boss battle to defeat Crystal. Spinning around, that's really all that has to be done. Avoid the bullets. Spinning around, what more do you want me to say? Look, there's an explosion. Spinning around. Oh, and look, I beat her. Crystal. Finally. Now we can be Something's done with this monstrosity around. once and for all, and... Uh, what what's going on? Please don't tell me what I think oh, he's gonna do. Please don't. Please don't! And that's where I think I'm gonna stop playing this game. You are more than welcome to see what else happens by playing the game further than I. But I think I'm going to stop there. Now I tried to contact the uh, creator of this game, Havishamon, and unfortunately he hasn't responded yet, but I wanted to ask him these questions like, what on earth compelled you to make this game? Do you have any future pro projects? And are you in a composed mental state? In fact, there are even future projects that might scare me a bit, including Candice DeBebe Pregnancy Simulator. Oof. This is not the worst game I've ever played. There will be plenty more of those games to come. But still, for what it's worth, I know I've lost a lot of brain cells. And that's why hopefully my castmates will dole me out in donating their brain cells back to me. Now before I go, I want to leave you guys with one special present. Way back that you basic bitch. Way back that you a basic bitch. Way back that you a basic bitch. Way back that you a basic bitch. Hey stupid, how are you talking crap? Can me spot with a brand new rap. I got me some rhymes from a different niggas. So shop and listen to your man made trash. The rapper is history and you are too. You know I ain't lying, this bitch speaks the truth. I've got some potions to make you less deranged. It's candy and mega and we're going insane. We're bad bitches, you're a basic bitch. 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 Spinning around, that's really all that has to be done. Avoid the bullets. Spinning around, what more do you want me to say? <laughs>